Hey guys, it's Chris and welcome once again to another episode of Cross Chop. Today I'm bringing you an unboxing video of the World of Nintendo Metroid figure made by Jack Pacific. Now it's really, really cool. I've been looking for this one for quite a while. I know it's been a popular piece and a lot of people have been looking for a number of figures from the wave two of these World of Nintendo figures, but as soon as I saw that this one was announced, I knew I had to get it. At this point, I've gotten a decent amount of the, you know, small to medium-sized Jack-specific World of Nintendo figures, but this Metroid here is definitely the big one that I wanted the most. With that said, I didn't pass up other figures like Donkey Kong and Bowser because I didn't want them or I didn't like them, more so because I have kind of limited space and didn't feel like shelling out the price tags on those two. Plus, as a longtime fan of the Metroid series, I really couldn't resist the chance of plopping this guy's big creepy jelly head down on my shelf and warding off any animals would be intruders or any respect I would have otherwise gotten as an adult male. Let's go ahead and dive in and see what this guy actually looks like. We'll go ahead and take a quick look at the packaging on this Metroid figure. And as you can see, the front is pretty self-explanatory. It's obviously got the Metroid itself on there. It's supposedly styled after the baby Metroid from the Super Metroid entry in the series. Uh, the side is just kind of that uh, sort of profile view of the Metroid itself. On this end, it's the artist's rendering of that, I suppose. The top shows the head of the Metroid from the view up there. And the back, of course, shows uh, you know, that it has multiple points of articulation. It looks like six inch figure, yeah, with eight points of articulation. This one, it's got some depictions of the other characters and it's in its energy draining life form. I almost kind of feel like some of those words are slightly out of order, but that's okay. And of course the bottom is just plain black with just a little bit of copyrights and trademark information on the bottom. So at times like this, We've got our handy dandy box cutter, and we'll go ahead and start opening it up. Go up here with the tape on this part right there, and on this side as well. Never cut toward yourself, kids. Doing this in a very awkward way. And there's a piece up here, it looks like, up toward the top, so we'll just slide that. Fortunately, this is much easier to open than the Samus figure was from last time, so far anyway. We'll see what it's like on the inside. So we'll go ahead and Open this up as carefully as possible. Makes for kind of a nice display box. I don't really know how else to store a Metroid. Oh, and already, yeah, the smell of plastic or polyurethane. Ooh, it's almost slimy. It's very gelatinous. Actually pretty impressed with that. It feels kind of like a, uh, it's like a slightly thicker beach ball on the top. Yeah, we'll go ahead and Try to, try to pull this out. I'm assuming that's the best way to do it. Yeah, it almost has like an oily sort of residue. Ugh. Wow. Bear with me just a moment. I think there are some plastic cords fastening the Metroid into the box. So I'll try to release him from his prison. Ooh. All right, guys, I have conclusively confirmed this time that it will come out. I have proven it to my girlfriend and indeed, it's a whopper. Here it is, the World of Nintendo Metroid. Let me set this box down. It's pretty neat, not gonna lie. It is very, very cool, very well detailed. Little claws kind of twist a little bit. And I think, yeah, with some loosening, they twist more than they initially feel like they will. You know, not necessarily all that poseable. As you can tell, it's, you know, just kind of a bulbous mask, mass, excuse me, with some meatball-like shapes in its, you know, nuclei up there in the... <laughs> up there in the head, but uh, still really, really cool. I think I will keep the box as kind of a display piece because there's really not a better way to set this guy up. He's kind of off balance, but nevertheless, a really cool sci-fi sort of piece for your room if you're a Metroid fan or even just a sci-fi fan. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video today. And since this Metroid's kind of in short supply, keep your eyes peeled because it's going for about $50 on Amazon plus shipping right now. I paid $15. I got really, really lucky. I just happened to check Amazon at the right time. So keep looking. I managed to get free shipping on it. And if you liked this video and want to see more from CrossChop in the future, I'd love it if you'd subscribe so we can chat and hang out a little bit. Anyway, 